Big night in the jungle last night. Emperor Noel Edmonds arrived, of course, taking control. Uh, former Queen of the Jungle, Vicky Patterson's here. Would you have liked that if someone had come in kind of day three or four and been in charge? Well, I mean, I was the late arrival, wasn't I? Yeah. So I came in sort of about day three. Probably about the same as yeah. Noel, but I was mine and Fern's te like tech as were totally different. Yeah. We were almost like obsequious. Yes. We were like, is there anything we can do to yeah. help with a Johnny? Yeah. So he's coming with the total different attitude and he's ruffling some feathers, isn't he? Well, quite a few of them were saying he seems to be enjoying it a bit too much. Well, that's the thing. So he's coming and fair play, he's had this emperor role thrust upon him. And I think by picking Harry as his deputy, he's made a real, real power yeah. play there. Yeah. Um, it's definitely calculated. Um, and nobody looked more surprised than Harry about yeah. that. Did you see? I thought it was good. I thought it was a good shot. I think I would have picked Harry because he manages football teams. <laughs> Agree. Yeah. But he I mean, <laughs> Harry definitely didn't see it coming. Um, he does, however. He was reluctant at first because he's one of the lads, yeah. he's a bit of a geezer. And I do think he was quite an alpha male in camp. Um, even though he was reluctant, he's got into the swing of things quite quickly. <laughs> Shall we have a little look yeah, at how he's getting yeah. on? All hail the Emperor! All hail the Emperor! Trouble, trouble, Mickey, and a charm little name. Come on! Goodness sake, take the pace up. Could you not scratch your groin while I'm not talking scratching to me, my waist. It's still very unpleasant. It's not. Could you knock next Emperor. time? I beg your pardon. Oi, that was said with a bit of sarcasm. Pack it in. <laughs> Sir Harry. Peasants, peasants, behave yourselves. <laughs> I can now control this mob. <laughs> can we have a bit more of that? I do think it's time you started calling me Assistant Emperor. Why, peasants? Oh, how it's changed. All hail the Emperor. I hate being bossed around. Yeah. I hate it. <laughs> I don't like it either. Could you work on that and just give it yeah. a bit more melody? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Noel's obviously relishing it, but it does look as though Harry is starting to get into the swing of yeah. that mind. But I think it's an all in good, all in good humour. Well, you know, it shakes it up a bit because you know the just first picture, everyone's loving everybody else and everybody's friends and everybody's lovely. And so this is we saw the start. John Barrowman got a bit narky. He did. With Noel kind of did pretend telling him off. Do you think, ooh, There's definitely not. some tension, isn't yeah. there? And, I mean, before Noel got in, it was all kittens and candy yeah. floss, and I was loving it. But it's nice to have a little bit of tension at this point, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah. Um, and it wasn't just... It wasn't just Harry, it wasn't just John, it was also Anne Hegarty had a little yeah. bit of um, an issue with Noel as well. So God knows what's gone on there. But we can see her face Where here. Is she? There she is. Yeah. When they're oh. all talking about him, she just yeah. does not look impressed. So <laughs> um, no, Noel actually thinks there'll be a penalty to pay for this somewhat down the line because when voting starts, when the, the Bush Tucker trials and, and the challenges all uh, are voted upon, he thinks he's going to be uh, put up front for these. Well, he thinks the public are going to get their payback, aren't they, for years and years of him being in sort of the puppet mm -hmm. master role on these short, obviously, Noel's house party. He was the king of he Saturday was. Night TV. And it was TV. a big deal to be on that show. Big Big wasn't deal. it? Yeah, big deal. I'm not... I'm, Ruth, I don't want to step on your toes, but, Eamon, phew, you are a bit of a sore, <laughs> weren't you? <laughs> I'm looking very handsome there, son. Anyway, we've got now clip, uh, an exclusive clip from tonight. That's going to be tonight's show. Um, we seen last night, Rita and Malik chosen to do the fifth Bush Tucker trail, and by the sounds of things, it's going to get a little bit wet, a little bit wild in the jungle, but we're going to see who Noel and Harry have chosen to do the trail with them. OK. Let's have a look. Emperor Noel, as you know, the public chose Rita and Malik to take on today's trial. Now, you must choose two gladiators to compete against them head-to-head. -head. The winning team will win a place in your inner circle. Which two gladiators would you like to choose and why? First of all, John. John, please hey. step forward off your podium, please. And the second gladiator, Emily. Emily, <laughs> please step forward <laughs> off your podium. Think, she looked pleased. I think that's really telling. Do you? But he's chosen yeah. John. Well, obviously, we've seen him and John have a little bit of groin friction, mm. whatever that was. <laughs> whatever that was. Groin gate. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't had a gate yet, I'm pleased. Groin gate. Um, and, but then Emily did vote, nominate herself to do the trial yesterday, yeah. so hopefully that was diplomatic, but I think, I think there's a vendetta there against John. Definitely. Ooh, if there's not, well, you're making one up. Yeah, well, if, yeah. <laughs> you heard it here first. You heard it here first. <laughs> and I love... Emily seems to be up for everything. She seems to be a really fun mm. girl. 
and also she gave me a mention in the jungle. She did indeed. So one of my highlights so far of this series has to be the girls all sitting down the bottom of the creek, which is where we used to go and sunbathe as well, doing their impressions. And I think yours has to be my favourite. Really. I loved it. Your heart's always in your mouth when you hear your name what? mentioned because you think, what are they going to say? What have I done? They think I can't stand her. <gasps> but what did she say? We got the clip. I think we have. You know Ruth Langsford. Oh, I love Ruth. She's I love so, her. Do Ruth. I love her. Because we've got James Arthur coming in, he's going to sing us a song. <laughs> he's going to sing, and I know I like singing songs, but Amy doesn't let me sing songs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shut, shut your mouth, you dirty guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what that is? That's, that's her doing an impression of Ryland, doing an impression of me, basically. But you know, when you hear your name, and you think, yeah. what are they going to say? So thank you, Emily, and thank you, lovely girls. Ru Ruth, like said Ruth. Me, when that, Ruth said to me, do I really speak like that? And I said, <laughs> yes, yes. I mean, I so. thought she had you down pat as well, Liam. She's a very talented <laughs> girl. Said. Very talented. Said. And she got, well, I hope she does well Thank in the you. trial tonight. And hope she and John get on very well, don't they? So yeah. they'll be good together. I, I think, think they're going to smash it. They're going to smash it. Smash it. Thanks, Thanks very much, Thanks our very, Queen very of the Jungle.